to switch gears a little bit and talk about um, the war in Gaza. Mm -hmm. You've called for a ceasefire hostage deal and a two-state solution as an end to uh, the war for many months now. And while you've expressed support for Israel to defend itself, a two-state solution and a ceasefire are at odds with what uh, Benjamin Netanyahu has said is their right to defense. If it matters, as you say, how Israel defends itself, where do you see the line between aggression and defense? And our power as Israel's ally to, to do something. Okay, a lot to unpack in what you just said. So let's start with this. I absolutely believe that this war has to end, and it has to end as soon as possible. And the way that will be achieved is by getting a hostage deal and the ceasefire deal done. And we are working around the clock to achieve that end. Stepping back, October 7, 1,200 Israelis were slaughtered, but and actually and some Americans, by the way, in that number, slaughtered. Young people who were attending a, a concert, women were horribly raped. And yes, so I have said, Israel has a right to defend itself. We would. And, but Madam Vice but, no, President, but let me I think finish. my ask is the but, difference no, no, between aggression and defense. No, but yeah. it's important to put it in context, which is what I'm doing, and I'll get to that. And so how it does so matters. And far too many innocent Palestinians have been killed, women and children. We have seen with horror the images coming out of Gaza, and we have to take that seriously. And we have to agree that not only must we end this war, but we have to have a goal of a two-state solution because there must be stability and peace in that reason in as much as what we do in our goal is to ensure that Israelis have security and Palestinians in equal measure have security, have self-determination and dignity. A question for you on that, though. What levers does the U.S. have to support Palestinians in their right to self-determination? And is it even possible as Israel's ally? Well, absolutely. I, I, I will tell you, I have been actively involved in, for example, meeting not only with Israeli officials, but with Arab officials to talk about how we can construct a day after scenario where we participate in ensuring those exact goals that I outlined, including as part of the principles that should be applied to those goals, that there be no reoccupation of Gaza, that there be no changing of the territorial lines in Gaza, that there be a, 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 an ability to have security in the region for all concerned in a way that we create stability and let, let us also recognize in a way that ensures that Iran is not empowered in this whole scenario in terms of the peace and stability of the region. But absolutely, the, 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 the United States of America absolutely has a role, which is why we have been active in particular with the Qataris and the Egyptians around attempting to get a deal done and get it done as quickly as possible. But Madam Vice President, just to, to follow up really quickly, is there a specific policy 